Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. If you're trying to download and install a new installation of Windows using the media creation tool and you're having some trouble or getting some errors, this video is for you. In this video, we'll cover an alternative method using a program called Rufus. We're going to walk you through the installation as well as how to download Windows files directly through the application. Now, before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, 11, Microsoft Office, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right here I have a USB drive. This is an HP drive in particular, which has not failed me before. We're gonna use this as our drive to install the media to in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so I'm gonna plug in the USB drive. All right, and once we've plugged that in, all right, here we can see our drive in our file explorer. So I'll close out of that. Okay, next up on Google, I'm simply gonna search R-U-F-U-S or Rufus. We'll leave a direct link in the description box below if you guys want to use that. So rufus.ie is the domain. And then just scrolling down here, we have some different releases. So we have a Windows ARM version. So if you're on ARM architecture, you can get that. We also just have our latest um, installation here. We have a portable installation. All right, so the 4.4.exe was released January of 2024. That's the version I want. So I'll go ahead and click that. I'll X out of the ad. All right, and then I'll click allow up here where it's asking if it can download. Cool, so we have our Rufus 4.4.exe. I'll click the little folder icon to bring that to our desktop. And we can close our browser. And I'm just gonna double click the installation file. Click yes on the pop-up. And we'll select yes on the pop-up again. All right, here we go. So first thing, make sure your correct device is selected here. That's our USB drive right there, so we're good. And then in the boot selection, I'm gonna leave this as a disk or ISO image. Perfect. Next up, this is the important part here. So if we click down on this little menu here, we can change this to the download setting. All right, and so next up, we'll click the download button. Here we can choose our Windows version. We have 8.1, 10, 11, or the UEFI shell versions as well. So let's go ahead and do Windows 11. We'll hit continue. And then here we're prompted to download. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. Windows 11 Home Pro or Education are our only edition options, meaning if you need enterprise, you will have to do a separate download. Okay, we'll hit continue. And then with the right language selected, we'll hit continue again. And then finally, we'll hit download. I'll go ahead and download this just directly to my downloads folder and I'll hit save. All right, it's about 6.3 gigabytes, so we will come back once it's done. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. We just wanted to show you an alternative to the Windows Media Creation Tool, as it seems like a lot of our customers are having issues with the platform. Next on our list, we're creating dedicated videos using Rufus to create a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 bootable USB drive. You can find those videos in the description below if you're looking for how to do that. If you have any questions about any parts of this video, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. Lastly, we strongly encourage any viewer topic ideas that you may have. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.